pockets. <laughs> nice. I know a lot of people been telling me and accusing me of cheating from a very long time on Apex Legends when I first started to upload videos on Apex Legends. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the development from a normal aim that I had into that aim that people, most people are calling it cheating. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Omar Samus, we're back with another Apex Legends video. If you guys don't know this channel, we upload a lot of Apex Legends video and we also upload in reaction for anime. Now, it's been a while not uploading reaction because uh, I've been busy uh, doing a lot of stuff with the new team that I have. And let me just go straight to the video guys without wasting your time. Now, a lot of people that watch me on Facebook or be watching me on uh, YouTube for a very long time, they've been telling me that I use cheating uh, or I use strike pack or whatever. And that's not because only I... I have a good aim it's just because i can land shot with any weapon i also can have a literally no recoil with any weapon on a far range or close range or whatever so most people yeah accuse me of cheating and i'm not gonna lie i was surprised by myself when i've been playing like this uh from a long time like i've been playing like this so i wanted to share with you guys this uh trick uh, the tricks that i did it uh, that, that i did and uh, that happened to be my development in apex Legends now all right, the first thing I want to talk about is how I developed from Apex Legends and how I became someone that is called as a cheater before when I start uploading videos that are better than what I was playing. So basically how I started it, if you guys watch my videos or you probably don't know the details, but if you guys know me well, 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 then you know that I started it by creating something. So basically, first of all, what I, what I did is I went and watched YouTuber settings. So what I did is right here. So what I did is basically, first of all, I wanted to create my own settings, and it's one the first ALC uploaded, be uploaded. I just went to YouTube and typed Apex Legends ALC or best ALC, and I watched a couple of videos before I pick mine. I don't know. I don't want to copy someone's settings like youtuber settings but what it, what i wanted to, to do is basically i wanted to see how to make the alc or what is the most common used alc just to figure out it like to figure the alc out and to figure what most people do and what is right and what is wrong so i watched a couple of videos right here and after watching them all i just went to apex and then i went to settings and i know that most people use low dead zone that because it's better i know that people like what did they use on the response Pawns curve and all these and I know that our threshold is like default mostly used like default so I knew these couple things then I try to make my own and I know that most people use here as off like turning extra and like that and I figured it why uh, after watching cover video then I did my own so after I did my own I really closed the book like you have to make your own here and then you close the book you don't have to look back okay you have just to forget it you made your own and you forget it now how did i make my own so what i did basically is that here against the dummies for example and when i started to know what response given that zone is i did not aim and shoot the dummy i did not do anything like that at all i just basically move around and then do it like this move my camera around and do it like that is this comfortable for me is this up and down comfortable is the response comfortable is the dead zone comfortable i look like that yes it is comfortable then i stayed with this okay i did not change i changed my what response cap i like i did this moving right here all around without shooting without doing anything at all i just did this then i figured out really wow it's very good i figured out up and down is it is this one good yes it is so now the second thing is when I want to use the Yao speed and pitch speed uh, is basically the hip fire. So when I hip fire from here, like, like, okay. So is the hip fire. So for example, I fire light here, and I see is the hip fire. So hip fire here. Is the hip fire really good? I can see that yes, I'm landing shots the hip fire. Uh, the recoil of the hip fire is very good from this range. So it means I'm very comfortable with the speed of the hip fire, which I use yo and pitch. So yeah, it is good. Now I went to the at, uh, ADS, for example, and I figure out like when I shoot like this and turn and shoot like this, I still land shots, and then I go like that. I do like this. 
Okay, and I feel like, yes, am I comfortable with this one? Yes, I am. So I made my ADS. So now after finish this, I close the book. I close the book of ALC. I never look back. I don't care about the settings anymore. I figured out that I'm very comfortable with it. Now let's go to the next step. The second step that I did that got me really better to land shots, of course not making ALCs and settings. That's bullshit, bro. Like making this is just a step one now. Making the other stuff is what makes you a better player. Now, I'm gonna mention them. So, basically what I did is that I put a challenge for myself. Now, let's say an example. What is the highest skill you have? Drop a comment down below and tell me, no, tell me what is the highest skill you have? Or what is the damage, the highest damage you did? What is the record for you? Now, for example, when I st started Apex, the first highest skills I had is 7. Okay? So, basically... The highest kills I had in Apex is 7. The highest damage I had is 1500. That's it. Like, <laughs> that was not uh, special at all, right? But my challenge is to hit 4K and 20. But of course, I did not jump straight to 4K and 20 because it was near impossible for me. So I, what I did is basically, I made myself a challenge. So what was the like? What was the most kills I had, which is 7. Now I don't. I need to get above 7. So that's simple. So for example, I got like 8. Oh, finally, I won the challenge now i got eight i need to do another challenge get more than eight i got nine i got like ten all right these are new challenges for me so the same thing goes to damage i made damage as a challenge so my highest is 1500 even if you got like if you if your highest is 1500 and the next time in the game you got 1600 you don't think that this is not an achievement this is an achievement if you got 1600 damage above your like all damage then you're better you're getting better guys do this over and over make yourself a challenge forget about aiming i don't think about aiming at all when you need to first create your settings you have to forget aiming you just made what comfortable for you forget it so basically <clears throat> my big experience when i dropped 20 bomb and i was really happy uh, when i dropped 20 bomb for the first time i was really screaming in the room like oh my god i dropped 20 bomb and i clipped it and like that i watched the video right now like right now i started watching my old videos my first 20 bomb and what i noticed is that i was really missing shots a lot so how the fuck i got 20 bomb and 4k damage and i missed every single shot like i every single shot like but i missed a lot of shots you know what i mean so i've been missing a lot of shots and i figured out that you really don't really don't need to think that you need to land just every single shot it means that you have to be comfortable with the setting after you figure out that here in the final range you're very comfortable with the setting you really don't need to think about missing or landing missing and landing this happens in the game this is normal what happens more is the challenge you have to get more kills more damage and all that now <clears throat> Now, after you know that these two challenges that I gave you, it's not always that you have to follow these challenges. You have to make your own. Now, how do you make your own challenge? For example, I'm going to tell you an example, guys. You don't need to follow YouTubers' challenges and do them. You have to create your own from your brain. So what you do is basically, for example, let's say uh, I need to try this Aratinan with this M example and i don't use this aim at all so basically this is a challenge for me a new challenge or i want to use the aratina or all the weapons without a scope at all without an update uh for like the whole matches okay so this is also a challenge now let's say also a challenge like i want to play the game with no aim assist and i want to hit 1k damage or let's just say a challenge that is known for example Okay, now like challenges, other challenges is like getting a weapon you don't know how to use. For example, I was the worst uh, Flatland player ever. Now, I, I'm like, I can say it proudly. I'm one of the best Flatland players ever. It's not because I'm just saying that I'm really the best. No, it's because I really feel comfortable with this weapon. And everyone that watches me see that I'm very, very comfortable using this weapon. I hit fire on close range. I really don't mistrust at all with this weapon. And I feel fairly comfortable. Like, even the recon and all that, I feel very good with it. Now, this is also was one of my challenges before it became one of my favorite weapons. So yeah, that's what I want you guys to do. Make your own challenge in Apex Legends. I want you to guys always make your own challenge in Apex Legends and do it. Because challenging yourself and seeing what you're capable of is what makes you aim and everything better by time. Without noticing it, guys, by time you're gonna see your that you're gonna see that people will call you, oh my god, your aim is good. You'll be like, really? My aim is good? And you're gonna watch your clips and you'll be like, whoa. And then you're gonna watch the old clips and you'll be like, what the hell? How did I change like that? 
That's because you were not even thinking about the aim. You were just thinking about something else that is very important, which is the challenges. You don't need to think about the aim at all. You have to put challenges for yourself and do them over and over and win them. This is basically what is it, what it is. So make your own challenges, guys. Okay. Now, because this video is gonna be about this, this video is gonna be very important for the most people. I want you to know that this is one of the most important videos I'm making as a guide video. Is because it's it is very helpful. It's what I went through, and I'm pretty sure all the YouTubers did it. Every single YouTuber, I'm pretty sure that they do challenges for themselves when they play the game. So. Make your own challenges. Now, I want you guys to drop a comment down below and tell me what is the highest skill you had, what is the highest damage, and now try to break it, okay? Go there and break that record of you. I don't care about 20 bones and 4k right now. If you got 2k, hit the 3k or hit the 2.5k. Hit them, hit the 2k, get over it, guys, all right? That's the challenge right now for you play over and over and win it i don't need you guys to think about something above you like right now really fast you're probably gonna get 20 and 4k uh suddenly all right you're probably gonna maybe you're trying to hit like above 2k and you find yourself you have a 4k damage you don't know so this is what i want you guys to do all right i hope you got okay that was it for the video guys today is a challenge video for you uh, I want you guys to follow these steps and make really the best benefit of it. I hope it really helps you guys, but I, I'm pretty sure, guys, it will help you. I'm, I'm pretty sure, guys, it will help you because these things help me. Okay, these things help me. Uh, if you guys know need more like challenging tips, I can give you, but trust me, make your own challenges. See what's harder for you and try to break it. And yeah, so that was it for the video guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you a lot for the support. We're so close to hit the thank you subs. I really thank you guys a lot. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.